Korea. Thanks for tuning in. Live from Seoul, I'm Oh Jin Ju. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. It's a huge day for lawmakers at Korea's National Assembly as a regular session has entered its last day. And unlike the gridlock that defined parliament for much of the year up till this point, lawmakers are expected to pass scores of key bills today. Chi Myung Gil reports. Starting next year, families facing severe financial hardships will get more help from the government. The National Assembly will pass three revised welfare bills today that will expand the scope of beneficiaries and put up a stronger safety net for destitute families. The bills were proposed in memory of a mother and her two daughters who committed suicide in February in Seoul because of financial troubles. On top of the welfare bills, anti-corruption legislation will also be passed today. Under the bill, public officials will be restricted from getting new jobs for up to three years after they retire. It's intended to stem the long-standing practice of government officials taking jobs related to their area of purview after retirement, something that often leads to corporate malfeasance and negligence. Violating the law carries a possible punishment of two years in prison and fines of 18,000 U.S. dollars. However, the parliament has been dragging its feet on an anti-corruption bill that would set up stricter punishments for bribery among civil servants. The so-called Kim Young nan Act is still up for review in committee, as lawmakers have not been able to reach an agreement on whether families of civil servants should also be subjected to possible punishment. Ruling Sanjuri Party lawmakers also turned the mirror on themselves. The party's reform committee agreed to reduce certain privileges during a meeting of its assemblymen. From here on out, ruling party legislators will be banned from holding public signing events for books they've authored, as they can be used to raise illegal campaign funds or take bribes. Senori party lawmakers will also not get paid if a parliamentary session does not open on time or if they are absent from a session in progress. But they fail to reach an agreement on whether lawmakers should lose their immunity from arrest while on duty, since the Constitution guarantees such rights. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.